There's a difference between prophecy and word of knowledge. Let me explain. A lot of people think when you see someone's address or this, that that is prophecy. That's not prophecy. That's word of knowledge. Are you guys with me? Prophecy is regarding the future. Many times God would use word of knowledge so that what He is going to say is what He is going to say. I'll give you direction right now, okay? I walked past you and the Lord said to me, minister to her regarding few things. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord saying to me, the seven-year-old son has an angel behind him. How old is he? Your son. My son is, is nine now. He's nine. But he got the zeal for the Spirit of God. You got what? He got the zeal for the things of God. He got the zeal. I'm seeing a number seven. I'm seeing a seven year old right now somewhere where the Lord is going to who the Lord is with how many sons do you have two sons I'm seeing the number seven by one standing because I'm looking I don't know if it is the month of July or the month of I was born in July July. Yes, I was born in July. Because I'm seeing seven standing. Yes. Then I'm seeing a seven connected to the sun. Then I'm seeing that the Lord said to me, there are two things of direction. I looked and I saw you in another country. Amen. Or I saw you have to go to another country. Amen. I just applied for a job in Australia last week. Then the Lord showed me transport. Now, he said, transport on the family. Amen. I was praying for God to give me a wisdom in terms of transport because I wanted to start scholar transport or bolt. You're strong to transport? I wanted bolt. to start scholar transport or bolt. A, a bolt? Yes, bolt. Bolt. Uber. Bolt. But I'm looking at something that is hidden. And I'm seeing that is holding someone down. I see a property that is in the mix that is going to become a problem when you want to go into direction. But the Lord said to me to tell her, I see another country coming. I'm looking in the family and I'm seeing something in relation to teaching. I'm seeing something in relation to another contract because there is something that is not being applied for or accepted. I'm not sure if this is on your husband's side or on your side. There's a contract or something in relation to business that has not been accepted. And the Lord said to me, pray for her son. I'm looking at his son and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord behind him. I'm seeing an angel standing behind him. And I see the number seven written saying to me, when it comes also either to the seventh month or something like that for him. He is going to, because there is a battle going on behind him. But the word of the Lord is spoken over him. And the angel of the Lord is standing behind him. And the Lord will protect him and guide him. I saw words and I see words attacking the family, coming from other family. And the Lord is showing me words coming from another family members attacking this family. I saw words of division. I even saw a curse to a degree that is trying to hold this family down. But the Lord said to me, breakthrough is coming to you. As I was walking up and down, I saw by you the Spirit of the Lord showing me 
that you will pray and because of your intercession and because of your prayers I am making a way for you in the desert I am making a way for you in the desert it is like I'm standing in front of a bank it is like I'm standing in front of a bank almost like it is APSA and I see how something is going to happen but there is a door that the Lord is going to shut and when it comes to direction there's a door that the Lord is going to shut when have you applied for Australia? I applied last week last week yes I see a door opening and I see a door closing. I see another door touching a nation up north, like up in Africa. I see something touching there. Not sure if it's in relation to your husband or not. Not sure if I would say a nation or a country like, like Ghana or someone like something like that or uh, Zimbabwe I'm seeing another country up in Africa that is connected that something is going to open up and the Lord said to me pray for this part of her body where the enemy wants to come and attack this part not sure if it was the womb if a child was lost or something like that not sure if it is that but pray for this part of the body because the enemy wants to come against this household. But I will cause her days to become lighter. I will cause her days to become open. For there's been a season of confusion. There's been a season of, of calamity. And death wanted to come to this house. I saw you praying and I saw you praying for children. I saw you praying for people. of death out of me. I saw death wanting to come into this house but not only wanting to come for you wanting to come for your children and the Lord is saying be assured that these things are sorted because your prayers have been heard in the council of heaven but I saw your son growing up I looked at the word like an engineer and I saw how a way will be open for him to study things in the area of an engineer going forward in the future. I saw him academically very successful. I saw the Lord giving him a mind and intellect. I saw the Lord's hand upon him. Stretch out your hands towards the church.
family, every cord, every sickness that want to come and every arrow that want to come for your stomach area, womb area, in Jesus mighty name, I command it to loose this family and that doors will be opened, every generational thing will be lifted, in Jesus name, set of set of free. Initially, when I walked past you, this is what the Lord said to me. He said, tell this family what the enemy wanted to bring asunder and bring us a, a, a division. I'm going to bring a healing, not only in the family, but also in the physical bodies of, the, of either one of you standing here in front of me. That's a healing is going to come and the Lord is saying there has always been a hunger towards ministry for I have given your wife visions I've given her dreams there's a desire in her heart but the enemy has tried to come and lie and say not good enough 
things like that I looked and I saw a disappointment previously in a church or somewhere where there has been a misrepresentation and the Spirit of the Lord is saying to me that I will bring healing in this area but there is supposed to be business and business and business in the family there's supposed to be entrepreneurial ship in the family and when this entrepreneurial ship for I will put my finger upon this family because I looked at the children and I saw ideas coming to them I saw both of your children being used by God I saw both the word of the Lord saying to me you and your house shall be saved I saw the Spirit of the Lord coming upon your children I saw one traveling I saw one that is a door is going to open up or traveling is going to take place your daughter is here can your daughter come for me is that your daughter come stand here for me I'm, I'm looking at both and I'm standing by both right now I'm seeing one child I'm not sure which one I'm seeing one that is going to travel where do you have a job right now do you work somewhere where you are right now there's going to become a shift and there's going to be a change and the Lord is saying I've always been with you I have been with you and there's going to be a shift there's going to be a change there's going to be a promotion but then I'm going to bring direction in for I'm going to heal the area of relationships says the Spirit of God and I'm going to bring in that which you have always prayed for for the Lord is saying do not fear do not fear for what has happened and do not fear for what is happening I will cause my hand to move because the enemy has tried to come and whisper to this family and saying one, two, three is going to happen. But it will not cease the Spirit of God because I saw you standing as pillars in the kingdom of God. For the Lord is saying, I've got your heart. I've taken your heart. I've taken your heart. And it is mine. And you're going to see how direction is going to begin to come in. Because the Lord is saying, you're hungry for more and you have been hungry for more. I saw finances that has been kept from you being given back to you. I saw opportunities that has been taken coming back. Opportunities where you were nice or you were people took your kindness and they abused it. And the Lord is saying opportunities is coming. I saw something in relation to a partner or a partnership that is going to take place in the future or something that is going to happen that is going to cause an idea to come. For the Lord is saying do not put a limit upon me. Do not limit me in your life because you have the ability to create business ideas. You have the ability to create business and do things with your hands. And the Lord is saying see how I'm going to cause a prosperity to come into the family. I saw your daughter being moved. I saw a change and a shift in the work. And the Lord is saying to me, I'm going to come upon you because I saw an anointing for children or I see an anointing for kids. And the Lord is saying that, 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 that in this area, you will see my hand shift. But the next five years of your life, even though the enemy wanted to bring much turmoil in and wanted to bring confusion in, the next five years of your life, there's a wind is going to begin to blow. And I'm going to cause my north wind, which is the wind of promotion, to blow, says the Spirit of God. Stretch out your hands towards them, church.
a call of God upon your life the enemy has tried to hold you down and push you down for these visions and these dreams I saw this family going from glory to glory stand for me a little bit to the a little bit more to the front I see this family going from glory to glory the Lord is going to do something with you and I don't want you to fear it because My peace will be with you in every area. And all you need to know is that as you keep your eyes upon me, the Lord is saying there'll be no calamity. But I've called you to prosper. I've called you to be very successful, even financially. And then I saw many children, whether it is children you will have or working with children, but I saw the anointing for children, I saw ideas, I saw joy coming back into you. For what has been robbed from this family, I pray right now. I'm looking at financial things that has been robbed. I'm looking at things, even where the enemy has tried to come in with, religion has tried to come in with, with a, a misrepresentation, you're going to experience my glory. You're going to experience my presence. From this moment, I pray. And I speak as a prophet. Father, I pray. Let heavens be open over their lives. Let heavens be open over their lives. I command them to be opened up. That finances will begin to flow out of them and come into them. And the business ideas and the things, creativity that I see. For I see somewhere going to be developing or something was already happening. I'm looking at a shop front type thing. And the Lord is saying to me, I will give you creativity in your hands. 
I'll give you the ability to think out of the box in your hands for any limitation that has been placed upon you. That has been not from my spirit, that has been from circumstances, even from the past, even from generations before. I'm lifting this day in Jesus' name. For you are called of God, says the Lord. For I saw you ministering to women and supposed to be ministering to women. And I unlock the gift that is in you. But this thing from a generation before that has held you, that has put fear upon you, that has put anxiety upon you, a fear that was hidden that was not shared with many. I command you to be delivered. I pray for this thing to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, allow me to do this work and you will see a freedom on you and a lifting on you as you leave this place. Because I saw you running to and fro, establishing things. I saw you being creative and I saw the authority of the Lord upon you. And I saw the Lord saying, I have called her, this family, to be pillars in my kingdom. And I'll establish them. I'll be like a voice behind them and I'll tell them to go left and I'll tell them to go right. Every situation that requires healing in your body, I pray right now that healing will come. The sleeplessness or the anxiety and the panic attack that wants to come, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, sit minister a word but let me just uh, carry on prophesying is it okay um, lady with the black shirt is your husband next to you not are you alone married family doesn't matter stand up married stolen from you in your hands like this everything that has been stolen from you for the Lord is saying I'm going to use you and yes you have thought about it many years ago but there's seasons and there are phases and there are seasons for there were seasons before there's a there's been wilderness season. I'm looking at a work situation and the Lord is saying to me, there was a decision that had to be made.
there was a decision that had to be made. The enemy wanted to remove you when it comes from work. Or wanted to do a certain decision that was not of God. For the Lord is saying, there shall come peace. And where there was no peace and where there was going to a decision going to be made I will speak to you and I will cover you and protect you and I have protected you says the Lord I've protected you from losing a lot of money there was something that was going to come in that was going to do this I am looking do you have children no children how long have you been married 23 and a half years. 23 and can you have children or not? Do you, do you want children? Everyone, are you guys over? You don't want children? Then I don't pray for it. Okay. I'm too old for children. Hey? I'm too old for children. How old are you now? 52. That's not too old, but anyway. I'm in menopause. Sorry? I'm in menopause. If you don't want children, then I don't pray for you. That's fine. If you want children, then we pray. Then you have children. But uh, was there a problem? Uh, no, not with, not with children. Okay. You're saying it's, yes. It's just uh, it's a complex thing. It was just, yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't that we couldn't physically have them. It was just reasons from the past that I didn't want to have children because of uh, just complex things. You know, when our hearts are completely healed, uh, sometimes God would not even allow us to have children when there's not a full healing or certain things taking place. And, uh, 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 and when full healing does take place, then desires change. So, I don't think you have encountered how long have you guys been here two years two years i don't think you guys have fully experienced wholeness which will come and there are too many things from yesterday that is still having a hold on you for the Lord saying i've called a wholesome family here and uh I have called you to become wholesome because the pain of yesterday, all the abandonment and the rejection and the fear. And I'm looking, not speaking of the womb right now, I'm seeing another physical situation or healing that is required in the body. And I'm going to pray for that because I'm looking at somebody that is in pain and I'm seeing pain that comes I'm also seeing something that affects or it where there is sleep I'm also seeing the enemy wants you to move and move and move and move and move and not be settled and the Lord is saying peace is going to come to you why I was asking about children initially I saw someone doing or being in computers and I'm not sure if it is a child or or not um, we, we, we both in IT, so, An so IT when we both got married we used to repair computers for the fun of it and okay so yeah we've been in IT for, for our whole careers okay because mm. I saw computers so I was thinking maybe it'll be in the children or not that's so I was asking about children Because I was first looking at a gentleman in front of you and I thought IT and I thought, no, 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 it is the couple behind. So there is something where the enemy wanted you to move and move and move and not be established. But peace is coming and wholesomeness is coming. 
for trust me in a place where I can bring full healing in many areas and my spirit will do it says the Lord for the Lord is saying there is promotion coming when I said in work there's promotion that is coming a situation somebody wanted you removed or somebody wanted something to happen when it comes to removal or to remove a work or a position or a job or something like that or a opportunity or a contract but there was some type of re somebody wanted to fight and remove this but the Lord is saying if you lift up your eyes I will take you deeper but the healings are the wounds of yesterday I'm going to bring healing to and I'm going to bring a wholesome in this family a wholeness in this family the wounds of the generation of a mother and a grandmother and so on things that has happened that you are not aware of that has also had an effect of where you are today I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will begin from this moment on by the prophecy begin to bring healing for the Lord is saying you will see wholeness coming to you and I speak in an area of your body where I see an illness or I see something not right I shift it by the power of the Spirit I'm looking at like a kidney or a liver I'm looking at something in an area like that okay, can I say? so my, my wife was diagnosed with a cancer in the eye about two three years ago um, and there's always a concern of going to the liver Yes. And she goes for scans every three months to make sure that it hasn't spread. I've got four injections in my eyeball every it's four or five weeks. So it's, a, it's an extremely rare cancer that, uh, that was miraculous that I picked it up, that God showed me, you know. And I had the tumor treated, but I am um, I'm almost just praying for full healing. I claim is it gone? Liver. Is the cancer so, gone? Uh, yes, the cancer's in remission, so the tumor's been shrunk. Um, with, with therapy, um, with radiation, um, but there is always, uh, yeah, there was always, it was always, the, 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 the liver was the, no. was the thing. So, raise your hands to the Lord. Stretch your hands towards them, church. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command healing. Cancer will not return. Her liver will be fine. Her organs will be fine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus. for me. Give me 10 more minutes, we're going to prophesy more and then we will uh, take up an offering or maybe even 15 minutes, we'll see. Um, I just want to minister to more people.
There's a mantle upon your life and there's a ministry call upon your life where the Lord is beginning to draw you. Things have gone sour, things have gone bad. And you said, God, but is this me or is it not? And the Lord is saying, I'm taking you through a process, son. Not only ministry, a lot of prosperity for you. And when I speak it as a prophet, the enemy has tried to come in and try to lie to you or try to remove things because there were wrong associations in certain areas. But the Lord is saying, the enemy is trying to snatch and steal a lot of things, even family. Even come into the family and try to do things. When I see, it is like I'm seeing how the plan of God is for you to have done certain things even with different nations that were stopped and those limited. Because I'm looking at a contract upon a contract upon a contract in your life where there is blessing is coming to you. But more than this, I'm looking at the other hand and I'm seeing a ministry. I'm seeing this mantle upon your life, not only of an evangelist, not only, it is like somebody that has the ability that carries spiritual gifts. But the Lord is saying, when you open your mouth and you speak to people, and you witness and you testify and you minister to them, you will see my anointing and my spirit come upon you. For let me go a little bit deeper. I see a spirit of abandonment and an orphan wanting to come to you. An orphan spirit from where you have come from. I see how the spirit of rejection has been there and this has limited certain things. For the Lord is saying, I will protect your body. I will protect your heart physically from a lot of things. And I have already protected you from things. It is like you have this passion in you where, where you want to run for God. You want to run for the kingdom and then something trips you up. And you want to run and then something trips you up. But the Lord is saying, son, I'm about to establish and plant you. And when I establish and plant you, you'll see my fire come upon you. When my fire comes upon you, you will run like a fire. And the orphan spirits or the rejection that there has been that has come from somewhere, I break its power in the name of Jesus Christ. That this thing that has caused you to not feel belonged or wanting to, to seek this or to seek that or to seek this or to seek that. This is a subliminal thing. This is a subconscious thing that is happening. And it is limited and caused delay upon your life. And this delay... I'm breaking and I'm calling you out next to him because I'm saying a certain thing, similar thing I'm going to say to him. But the Lord is saying to me, tell him I'm coming into his heart. And there's visions and dreams coming. Even as he leaves this place, direction will come to him. Whether to go, yes, to say yes or to say no. Whether to go left or whether to go right. Is your family here? The enemy wants to come for your family. Stretch out your hands towards him, church. Baroska avrikes get taken a maya. Bresco redines get elebena mambre. You have children. You have the firstborn, a son. I'm looking at a firstborn of a son. There's an attack against him that God is going to bring great deliverance and freedom for him things that has held him back where is he is he where does he um i've got shared custody with my ex-wife so he's one week with his mother one week with me are you remarried again yes my other wife is in the cape on our farm on community. okay lifted on oh I'm seeing
going in and out. So what do you do? I'm auction, yeah. We're for auction business. You know. Trucks. Vehicles. Cars. Vehicles. The enemy wanted, I see contracts and contracts and contracts. Remember what I said to you. The enemy wanted to steal opportunities. But the Lord is going to plant you. He's going to plant you like a righteous tree. Because there's things you have to do for the kingdom. The business is strong, but you're going to minister to business people. You're going to minister to a lot of people in a realm, rich people that others cannot reach. Even those who are rough, even those with bad past and bad testimony. The Lord is saying this mantle and this anointing I've placed upon you. The rejection from a childhood and the orphan spirit, I break its power. That there has been a spirit of delay that has affected and come into the marriage and come into the into the family and what the enemy wanted to bring asunder pray for your firstborn for the Lord is saying I will be with him as you pray for him and when that day comes know that I am with you and do not fear anything for as you fear me his life will be protected and his life will be saved in Jesus name <laughs> Your name is the grave. The reason I'm looking and I saw I was praying for you for weeks. And the Lord said, I must phone you and phone you and phone you. And I, I, I left it because I was praying. And the Lord said to me, address the spirit of delay upon him that has entered, as I said to him, from orphan. You might not, you, you understand, but you might not fully know how this has had an effect and it has an effect on everything but if you're willing to heal son says the Lord if you're willing to not run but to come and give yourself this thing will be broken because it had tentacles from the past holding you you will not understand why death would come you will not understand why certain things would take years and why a certain thing is not developed. For even before you go into the next season of your life, this thing has to be dealt with, says the Lord. Because you are unable to encounter me, says the Lord, in the way that I want you. Because when the years were young, when you were young, this orphan spirit entered and said, we will remove him and take him and rejection entered and a lot of decisions has been based upon that and the Lord is saying even though you're blessed I have much more for you I want to draw you closer to me I'm going to begin to enter in your heart many around you have seen it many around you have begun to pray for it but the Lord is saying I'm cutting certain things I'm cutting certain things even in family I'm cutting certain things in the Spirit, so that you can receive your freedom, so that you can receive your deliverance. For do not submit to what the enemy has planned for you. I decree and declare that freedom will come in this area where this Spirit wanted to bring in rebellion, to kill again. Do not underestimate those words or do not take it lightly. There is a deception that has come to try to take you to a place of rebellion and to take you out. But the Lord is saying, I love you and I have loved you. And you have never known the love of a father. But the Lord is saying, you will begin to know it and I'm opening up another realm to you. For rejection try to push you away and you try to self-sabotage certain things. But the Lord is saying, even as you try to self-sabotage your life, I will envelop you and I will deliver you and set you free. For look and lift your eyes up onto the hills for where the Lord comes from, where your deliverer comes from. I take authority over this root in your life from childhood. I command it to loose you. I command it to come out 
of every childhood root that you will feel even as you leave this place, even as you go to bed, you'll feel that there'll be a wholeness in an area in your life where the Lord is saying, I will give you a new heart, son, and I will take out a old heart of stone and you will see how I will fix things. For the fire that you have experienced was yet but a little. And I'm going to bring you into a greater place. Because why? I have a call upon your life, says the Spirit of God. For do not let this call go. And do not let this thing go that I've given you. For you have tasted a little bit. But you have not experienced the force of my love. You have not experienced the force of where I will deliver you from this thing, says the Spirit of God. Now every tentacle everything that has held you and this spirit of death that has come not even once even many years before that it has come and it is designed to come again i break its power from your life i remove every orphan spirit every rejection spirit in jesus mighty name <sighs> lift up the assignment that the enemy wanted to bring for that accident was not an accident it was an assignment to destroy you it was an assignment to eliminate and this contract is still there and the Lord is saying as you heal to me I will clean it by my blood in Jesus name do not underestimate the things of the Spirit Break every contact, every spirit of delay over your life that wants to steal another 10, 20 years. I remove it from you in Jesus' mighty name. That every form of guilt, every regret will be removed in Jesus' name. Look in the eyes, Daniel. Every assignment against your life every death that wanted to come and this thing that I saw again it will not take you the Lord is going to draw you much closer to him in an intimate way because the enemy tried to pull you to the left and pull you to the left but I pray that you will encounter his love like you've never encountered it before that you'll encounter His embrace like you've never encountered it before. And the Lord is saying, then you'll see the floodgates of heaven open. 
and it'll be like a veil that is taken from your eyes and a mind control thing that is taken from out of your mind that you will see my glory you will experience me in a new way and the Lord is saying joy will return if you have not experienced the joy of my salvation and from this moment I pray that this thing will be uprooted out of your heart in Jesus name this spirit that's coming after the family the whole family will not have its clutches in you but the enemy is designed to kill the one and kill now it's making sense the other one and try to kill you it cannot be broken by natural things To this generational thing, you loosen, bind, and bind every contract, every word, every force. I pray that you receive the light of God in Jesus' name. Every spirit to loose him, that's once for the past, that generation. Are we going to carry on, albeit tonight, five o'clock? We're going to carry on with prophecies. I want to prophesy over many of you uh, because just for the sake of time, we are not able to finish. There are many people that I saw that I, I just can't get to. The Lord just showed me this. He said, do not forget a promise regarding your children. Do not forget a promise regarding your grandchildren. You have grandchildren, don't you? Don't forget your promise regarding grandchildren. And the Lord is saying, I'll be shifting you into a higher place, even of leadership. This year, you'll see my promotion, you'll see my hand coming on you, says the Spirit of the Lord. Because I have called you and I will use you in the area of ministry. As you are right now with business and carrying on with that, is will use you in the area of ministry. I saw things an idea when it comes to restaurants in the future i saw an idea coming to that i saw the lord is saying i will cause one and two and three and four i'm going to give an idea and this idea is going to spring up into a manifestation because then you will realize how i've given you the ability to carry one and two and three different things but i will cause you to be lifted in the spirits in ministry for even here in this church we will be planted says the Spirit of God I will raise you within this year you will see a promotion coming within this year I'll give you the ability to shift and the mantle is going to shift for the Lord is saying many will look to you many will look up to you you'll be a covering for many you'll be ministering to many and I'll begin to unlock things that were in you to come forth. For the Lord is saying multiplication is coming this year. Fruitfulness is coming this year. And I'll cause a great work in the future to come out of you. For I saw your hands being laid upon many people. 
I saw you operating in freedom, in healing. I saw you importing. I saw you putting your, I saw you, you praying for people to be filled with the Spirit. I saw you giving the Word to people. And the Lord is saying, I will, you will see how I will cause you to lead in a very powerful way. And this day I pray right now. Father, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that a new realm will be unlocked for them. In Jesus' name, I pray for empowerment in the name of Jesus Christ. That there will be an importation, but also an empowering. That there will be an activation in Jesus' mighty name. Let them not forget the promises that are spoken over their family and the business ideas that I see, that you will multiply their hands, that you'll multiply the things in their hands, and that the Lord is saying, I will cause you to shake my kingdom in a way that you might have not experienced or seen fully yet. For you will see how I will cause rivers to flow out of your belly and there'll be multiplication of fruitfulness in Jesus' name. In Jesus. And come on, let's give her a praise of Let's give a praise offering, a bigger praise offering. Come on. I can listen. I can prophesy really over it. There's a lot of faces that I've seen. We're going to carry on tonight. I'll be at five o'clock tonight. Come with a hunger. Uh, come with a desire. Many of the spirit of prophecies here is it's not who I choose to. It is wherever is flowing. It can come. Amen. Amen. Raise your hands one more time to the Lord before we take up an offering. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon your people. Let the Spirit of God rest upon them. Let the glory of God, I pray for the spirit of prophecy. You guys got to help me with this microphone. I pray for the spirit of prophecy to rest upon them. I pray that it will be activated, that even tonight there will be rivers flowing. I pray that a light will come into a dark place. That prophecy being a light coming into a dark place. I pray for bondages to be broken, direction to be given. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the honor, the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give me one more praise of Come on, church, let's just keep praising Him. Amen, church. Are you ready to give and honor God with your substance? Let's just put up uh, Luke 6, verse 38. And uh, you'll see the giving details is there on the screen as you prepare your tithes and your offerings. And, um, you know, I believe it's, let me not try and quote this, but when it came to Saul seeking out his donkeys, there was a servant that advised him to seek out a prophet. And there was a very powerful key that was given there where they conferred with one another and explained where he said that it is not good, it is not wise to go to a prophet empty-handed. What shall we do? What shall we give? And um, it is not about the substance or the money, but it, it is about honoring God's gift that truly activates the prophetic so that you'll see that where the presence of God is, it is not just because the people are desperate and hungry. It is because God finds honor in that place. That's why you see the Shekinah glory in the house. So I want to encourage you guys, you know, as it is a Sunday of prophecy, 
to really honor the grace, honor the substance that God has gifted for the city and this region. And um, you will receive a prophet's reward. That is scripture. But as we give, let's, let's read this together. It says, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure, and I want to add something here. With the same measure of faith that you use. I said this in Cape Town. Oh my goodness. I said, if you believe you're a millionaire, people get like upset. Do you know why I am where I am today? Faith. It's not about anything else. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm. Promise you, this scripture is deadly. The, belie- the devil does not want a prosperous believer. And it just so happens that this is the scripture that we put on our sewing envelopes. I only realize that now. But it is not about the amount. It is about the faith that backs this thing. The only thing that can hinder you from the presence, from the blessing of God, is your lack of faith. It's, that's all that it's about. So let your honor, let your faith in God, let your heart be in your giving as we worship Him, as we praise Him through our giving. So if you're ready to give church, I want us to all stand to our feet. Those that are with us online on Facebook and YouTube, We're getting ready to give to honor God. The giving details are here on the screen. Those that want to give electronically, you can go to encounterchurch.co.za. We also have Zappa and Snapscan for you to give electronically. And then those that are watching internationally, you can also give via Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. But I want us to all lift up our sewing envelopes. You can lift up your bank card. Of course, you can make your way to the back to give by a card. And if you're giving by EFT, just lift up your cell phone. But I want every person to lift up their hands as we honor him this morning. That, Father, we thank you for the grace gift that by a prophet, a nation can be preserved. But, Father, may this place and this house not be a place where your gift is not honored. So, Father, we thank you that you have remembered us. We thank you that as we give, as we honor you with our faith, our praise, and our worship, but also as we bless the gift that is in this house, may every person receive a prophet's reward. And that reward is in his words as the voice of God. So I pray may the prophetic grace, the gift of prosperity, and the oil of gladness rest upon every single one of your people as they give this morning. May you cause them to be an open heaven and may you pour them out as a blessing that there's not enough room to receive it in Jesus Christ's name. Church, I want you to come to the front and uh, give. You're blessed to give and then you can make your way to the back to give by card. And then of course the giving details is on the screen behind me. And for those online, you can go to encounterchurch.co.za to give your offering. God bless you as you give church. time is it what is the second offering for no seriously what is it for 
vision. The Bible says that where there is a lack of vision, and to be put it correctly, where there is a lack of prophetic vision, the people cast off restraints. And, and as you know, we are, we are highly blessed and favored in this house um, that we may or may not be planting a mega campus very soon. I cannot confirm or deny that. <laughs> But so that you know, things are well under the way, uh, underway, and Prophet will, of course, release things at the right time. I didn't say that, just delete that off the live stream, because you know, people get jealous. And um, you know, church, we really can't do this without you. And uh, we are really grateful for every single person that has been in a pillar in this house that has supported the ministry and the advancement of the kingdom. So the Vision Fund is there for you and I to advance the kingdom. So they're going to send it around. You're blessed to give as you feel led. And of course, the giving details is on the screen for you to give in the Vision Fund. And then you can make your way to the back to give by card. But God bless you as you give, church. Jehovah Nisi fights your battles. 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 Jehovah Jireh meets your needs. Jehovah Rapha heal your body. Jehovah Shalom be your peace. Jehovah Nisi fights your battles. Jehovah Jireh meets your needs. Jehovah Rapha, heal your body. Jehovah Shalom, be your peace. Call the name, call the name, call the name Jehovah. All our praise, all our praise, all our praise belongs to you. Jehovah Nisi fights your battles. 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 Jehovah Jireh meets your needs. Jehovah Rapha. Let's all stand to our feet. I want you all just to lift up your hands as we close the service. So, Father, we thank you for your presence that is in this place and in this house. We thank you for every word that has been sent forth, that it will fall on fruitful ground. But, Father, may you bring your people back safely here tonight. But may the spirit and unction of God be available for every single person, that every need, every desire, every breakthrough and miracle that is required may it be done tonight in jesus christ's name amen and amen church i want you to give him a praise offering you can give god a better praise than that amen so I want to encourage you, don't miss tonight at 5 p.m. Make sure you bring a friend, bring your family so that they can get touched by the power of God. Let's do the work of the kingdom. Let's minister to people. Let's bring the lost here tonight. We'll see you later. God bless you, church. If you would like to give into this ministry, we have made giving your tithes, seed, or offering as simple and effortless as possible. You can simply log on to EncounterChurch.co.za or LeonDupria.com and click on the Give button. Here we show you the different ways to give. It's so easy. You will find giving options for local or international giving. PayFast is a fast and secure way for South Africans to give. You can give once off or make a recurring donation. 
Here you will find the Zapper and SnapScan QR codes as a simple and effortless way to scan and give into the ministry. If you prefer to make an electronic transfer, the banking details of our various campuses and the Visionary Fund are also readily available. For giving internationally, Cash App is one of our fast and simple giving platforms. PayPal is another method for quick and easy giving internationally. You can use your PayPal account or you can give straight from your credit card. DonorBox is also available, which accepts a variety of international giving methods. For those who would like to take hands with us and become a part of the incredible work that God is doing, become a friend and partner of Encounter and Leon Dupria. We have many partnership tiers available to suit your preference. Our friends and partners receive exclusive materials from Leon Dupria, as well as private live streams and exclusive events. Thank you for being part of what God